Hello again. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 12th of August 2022. The first chart we'll look at, as usual, is the US dollar index futures. Some supply was drawn out five weeks ago and there's been a response lower. The 105 level appears to be an important level to watch at the moment. Price broke out above this level previously. You can see that since some supply was drawn out, each subsequent bar has not challenged the previous bar's high, and each bar has traded below the previous bar's low. Hasn't always closed below the previous bar's low, but it has traded below the previous bar's low. This is not necessarily bearish, this is an indication the market's not particularly strong. It's a minor negative. There has been an attempt over the past two weeks to consolidate. Some buying has come into the market and there's a reluctance for price to move below this 105 level. Even if it did so, there's expected to be some support found within the congestion here. It would really take a break below this level for a true breakdown to take place. But it would be a sign of weakness if the market did break below the 105 level and was forced to consolidate in here. So we'll just see how the market goes. Some supply has been drawn out. We have seen a response to that supply. The market's pulled back to the previous breakout line. and We're testing that line for strength now. The next chart is S&P 500 index futures. There was some buying seen at this level previously, an accumulation through here. Price responded above those highs and pushed up to this level, which is the breakdown line, the previous breakdown line. I was anticipating there would be some supply drawn out through here. But this week's bar has moved strongly higher in response to last week's test for supply. Volume was reduced and below average, but spread was quite good. This suggests the market was able to move higher with relative ease without facing much selling pressure in the market. This suggests that at least some of the supply that may have been trapped over here actually sold out when price broke down and it's no longer in this zone and will, won't be drawn out when price moves up alongside it. So if this market wants to continue higher, I'm not expecting as much selling pressure to emerge from the left as I did previously. The US Treasury 10-year note futures. The important level was through here. This is the breakdown line now at 117 and a half. This week price attempted to push higher, wasn't able to maintain the higher prices and drifted lower to close closer to its lows and just marginally below the previous bar's close. Volume was below average, it was reduced and below average. So this really wasn't a particularly weak bar. If that was higher volume, I'd suggest this was temporary support in a downtrend, but I'm not so sure that's the case. I think this was more a consolidation bar sideways around this 120 level, and that actually might be positive for the future. This was just a sideways bar with the market marking time and waiting for a catalyst. Next chart is copper price futures. The breakdown line's right up here. This is the important level. Price drifted lower like this. Was under some pressure through here, but at the lows, there wasn't really a lot of buying. There was a bit more on this bar here. Test for supply last week, a positive response to it this week. Although, Volume increased, it was well above average, but the spread wasn't particularly wide. That suggests that supply is being drawn out in the market. 
think of this volume as force or effort. A lot of force or effort was put in, but there wasn't much reward. The spread or range was subdued despite that increase in effort or force. That's because supply was pushing down on it. So supply is still being drawn out. That may mean that the market tests for supply in response next week. And then depending on how much supply is drawn out, the market will go higher if supply is low or lower if supply is high. So I'd be looking for a test for supply next week, mainly because volume was high, spread was narrow, and that suggests that supply was being drawn out. There is some chance that this was an absorption bar and price will move higher in response. And if that's the case, it's far more bullish. Gold price futures. The breakdown line is here. This is the important line. Price moved up and tagged it this week, but it didn't really challenge the level. Volume was lower again this week. It's been lower for the last two weeks. Last week was really an absorption bar. Price moved up and drifted lower into the close. This week, price moved higher on reduced volume. That suggests that selling pressure is low in this market and price was able to push up to the previous breakdown line without much effort. I expect it will take a bit more effort if it wants to challenge this line next week or in the future. But at the moment, the market's looking fine. We saw good buying come in here. So this is strength in the background and a positive response so far to that strength or that buying support in the background. Silver price futures have broken down twice where the gold price has really only broken down once. So this market's a little bit weaker. There wasn't as much buying at the lows as on the gold price chart, but there was some buying in this bar by the looks. And last week saw a consolidation very high, which is usually quite bullish. The consolidation is done right up high, narrow spread, reasonably high volume. The market was buying any supply that was drawn out. This week's bar has a gap. And this is what the bar really looks like. You may find that gap filled next week. It's an inside gap, so there's a good chance it will be filled. I anticipate perhaps a test for supply next week with a filling of the gap down here and then the market rebounding to close up alongside the previous close. Next chart is light crude price futures, which had been appearing to consolidate and perhaps accumulate just above this important lows of the range. But last week, price broke down and closed clearly below that level. And this week, there's an attempt to recover. Volume was above average and still quite high, but spread was narrower than the previous bar, so supply was being drawn out. This is a market attempting to respond positively to a potential breakdown. This was a threatening bar. The important level to watch now is here, just below the 100. This is where price broke down from previously. A recovery back above this level would be quite significant and would be potentially bullish or at least strong. It will take a bit of effort, I think, to push back through the lows of this range. Aussie dollar price futures moved back above this important 70 cent level this week with a widespread but below average volume. So selling pressure was not strong this week. The previous weeks have almost been the exact inverse to the US dollar, very close to it. This week wasn't the inverse to the US dollar. This was the Aussie dollar futures trading at least with some of their own fundamentals. 
and they've pushed back above this really important level on the chart at 70 cents. If price can recover this level and maintain itself above it, it really will be a sign of strength for this market. Bitcoin futures, who have broken down twice recently, there was an attempt to consolidate here, but that was dumped and price broke down again. Now there's a subsequent attempt to consolidate, and this is looking more promising this time. There's been some strong buying within this little range here, where price maintains itself above the 20,000 level. There is potentially support between 16,000 and 20,000. This week's bar moved higher in response to the very narrow spread test for supply last week. It's tagged the breakdown line previously here, but it hasn't made any attempt to challenge this line this week. That suggests that price may be going to move sideways and continue to attempt to accumulate within this range before there's any serious challenge to the breakdown line. Back to the US dollar index futures. This is really the chart to watch at the moment. This 105 level is really important. Supply has come in here, price has come down. It's testing the strength of this 105 level. Here's where the breakdown line will be. But let me tell you, if price does break below 105 and heads down to test the strength of this breakdown line here, it will give a tailwind to all commodities that are priced in US dollars, and probably push them higher, maybe significantly higher, and that will only add to the inflation we're seeing all around the world at the moment. It will also benefit currency futures where the US dollar is the counterparty. So. This 105 level is certainly an important level to watch over the next week or two and see if price can hold in here. There is an attempt to support the market. and We'll see how successful that attempt is over the next week or two. Thanks for your time again. Hope that was worthwhile watching. Thank you. See ya.